it's important that we replace anecdotal information on what's going on at the turn time at our terminals with empirical data. So this study allowed us to identify the weight outside the terminal as well as the turn time within, within the facility. And they need to understand each other's experience. The truckers need to know what it's like to, uh, what it costs a terminal to do certain things that, they, that they'd like to see happen. The terminals need to understand what the experience of the trucker is. Uh, the goal of the, uh, the study is, I believe, what the goal of the stakeholder group was at the beginning, which is to increase velocity in the port, to decrease truck visit times in the port, and to identify areas of improvement and move forward with uh, solutions that uh, benefit all stakeholders. Beyond that, we want to make sure that our customers are comfortable that the port has the capacity to handle all the cargo that they want to bring through the Southern California Gateway. I think some of the key learnings were um, that we were that we're seeing some trends. Well, the results of the study clearly show that there are peaks and valleys throughout the daytime and nighttime shifts, predictably around the break time and the meal hours. Then also we saw that uh, specific times like uh, around breaks and lunch hour were other areas where we saw kind of a fluctuation of. Uh, the visit times in the port. Next steps are going to be that now that we have this report in hand, um, we need to really zero in on um, some of these areas of concern and um, address them, come up with solutions. I think the, the biggest misconception is that uh, on, on a general basis people say, oh it takes three or four hours to get in and out of a terminal. And this study proved that out of the 250 trucks that we sampled and who visit the port frequently, that the turn times were, were much less than that. In our last meeting with the stakeholder group, we've uh, all agreed that this is an accurate snapshot of what is happening in the port. So we'll take the data to help facilitate meetings and discussions between all the stakeholder parties to help improve terminal operations and improve the turn time, speeding the trucks in and out of our terminals. I think that what the terminals are looking at now, now that they captured this data, is to look at various opportunities for improvement. Uh, the surges are extremely manageable and that tells me that there's a lot of spare physical capacity at the ports. What I think is important here is that the parties have come together to talk about this. This is a huge step forward because that communication opens up possibilities in terms of what we can do in the future. Well, the stakeholders are going to collectively review the information in the report and identify some important points to work on this year.